We are following the breaking news today. Governor Andrew Cuomo resigning from office. New York politics have long been criticized for the way decisions are made in Albany. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner explains how that is about to be turned on its head. Governor Cuomo leaves behind a legislative legacy that's been criticized for years. The so-called three men in a room process where the governor and two legislative leaders negotiate state business behind closed doors. For instance, in 2013, that was Cuomo alongside now two disgraced former lawmakers, ex-Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver and ex-Majority Leader Dean Skelos. And in 2015, the three men were Cuomo along with current Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty and Senate Majority Leader at the time, John Flanagan. But for the first time in history, those three powerful people will not be all men. Soon to be Governor Kathy Hochul will sit alongside Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stork Cousins and Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty. We now have two women and one man in the room who are going to be able to really move forward progress for African Americans, for women, for the LGBTQ community. The changes come years after former U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara mocked the three men in a room style of governing. It was after he had charged former Assembly Speaker Silver with corruption. At a speech, he said in part, quote, why three men? Can there be a woman? Do they always have to be white? How small is the room that they can only fit three men? Well, what's interesting when you really look at uh, what's happened over the last 10, 12 years in our state government, uh, we've had the elevation of an African American governor, now the first woman to be governor because of the scandals of white men. Political experts say we'll see how that new culture takes shape during budget negotiations and the legislative session, which begins in January. On the Upper East Side, Lisa Rosner, CBS. CBS 2 News. And political experts tell us Governor Cuomo had confided in very few people, most of whom stepped down recently. Those who know Hochul tell us they expect her management style to be more collaborative.